Newly released 911 recordings reveal what happened in the panic moments before a driver swerved into an oncoming logging truck on the Wandermere Bridge last June. A friends think that Daniel James Marinovich was suffering from diabetic shock when he refused to pull over for state troopers and sheriff's deputies as he sped his way south on U.S. Highway 395. KXOI 4's Jeff Humphrey explains why prosecutors believe officers were trying to protect the public when they flattened one of his tires. And after you listen to these 911 recordings, it's easy to see why prosecutors feel that the troopers' use of force was justified. Both civilians and sheriff's deputies felt it was only a matter of time before Marinovich would crash head-on into an unsuspecting driver. Patrol emergency line. Yes, I'm reporting a uh, drunk or an impaired driver on Highway 395. Please, what are you reporting? There is a red... Ford sedan, the driver is falling asleep, and he's gone into oncoming northbound traffic four times. I have used my hand to slow people down to stop them from hitting him. Drivers first spotted Daniel Marinovich north of Deer Park as state troopers and sheriff's deputies raced to intercept the Red Taurus. More calls came in. 911, what are you reporting? There's a, a guy that's swerving out into the oncoming lane and just driving really erratic. Okay, is it a Red Ford Taurus? Yeah. Yeah, we've already gotten calls regarding him. Okay, 911, what are you reporting? There's one car, like, driving crazy insane, and then there's two other cars with their flashers on. Like, he's swerving like he's going to kill somebody. And that's why after Marinovich refused to pull over for officers who were using their lights, sirens, and loudspeakers, troopers threw down a spike strip to flatten the Taurus's tires. About a mile later, Marinovich crashed into an oncoming logging truck where 395 narrowed to just two lanes on the Watermere Bridge. But Taurus just missed county employee Mark Jones, who later called Crime Check to report he had witnessed the fatal impact. And he had a pretty well glazed look over his face and everything. And, okay. and uh, he, was, he was driving to the point where his arms were both kicked out to the, the side at like 90 degree angles. Okay. And, uh, you know, just like he was really trying to steer the car. And it's likely both a flattened tire as well as Marinovich's diabetes triggered this fatal crash. But today, prosecutors said the state patrol's actions were appropriate as they tried to protect other drivers on the roadway. Reporting at the Public Safety Building, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.